Anna Van Reel is our um, Songs for Children category winner this year with the song called Throw Out the Grain. Welcome, Anna. Thank you. Nice Tell to be back. <laughs> yes. Anna was uh, previously a winner of, of the uh, Songs for Children category a few years ago. So um, what's your winning song all about? Uh, so it's called Throw Out the Grain, as you mentioned, and it's um, it sort of really dawned on me that two-thirds of the world live in apartments in cities. Yeah. And children aren't as aware these days of where their food comes from. So uh, I live on a farm and um, I was pushing one of my kids in the, in the buggy and, I, and it just kind of downloaded the song and it's just about living on the farm and feeding the animals and just having an awareness of, of you know, what animals eat and what we receive from them. Yeah. Is that a theme that uh, children like to hear? I think so. I think it's exciting. I mean, um, all children who go on, you know, who get to see animals on farms always get really excited, the yeah. really little ones. And I, I, even, I think, adults get excited about seeing animals on farms when, they, when they've been away from farms for a, for a while. So, yeah. Yeah. Now, Throw Out the Grain, that comes from uh, an album of yours, doesn't it? It does. Fishing for Stars. Yeah. Tell us a bit about the album. Uh, so I just I released it in November, uh, just the last November past. So it's almost a year old, and um, yeah, it's my second album for children, and it's uh, it's done really well in New Zealand. And um, throughout the grain, actually got nominated in the international songwriting competition. Oh, did it? Shortlisted, yeah, oh, finalist. So that was really exciting. And um, yeah, the album's lots of fun. Uh, I've got bluegrass themes. I've got a yelling song for little boys. My my son's like, I need a yelling song. It's got to have Superman in it. So it's just got everything about Lego and Ninja Turtles, and you have to run and run and run and stop them. Um, okay, sweet. I'll write that for you. So <laughs> he just ran around the lawn while I wrote that song. That, that one's called Batty Cat. That's a goodie. Right. And um, and then lullabies. And <clears throat> oh, yes. there's a song called. Uh, Fairlight Station, which is about an old steam train that I used to go on as a child, and they've it's, it's stopped running, mm. and so I kind of it's very magical. The train used to go to this tiny station called Fairlight Station, so the the song's about imagining that Fairlight Station is the the station that takes you to dreamland ah. and where you where you go to sleep and find your dreams. So yeah. So what what does it take to write a children's song as opposed to say a mainstream popular song? What's different about it? What's different? I don't actually think there's that much different, Alan. I think they're quite similar, except that it's really important that you find your own inner child and you think about um, what it would be like to receive that if you just could let all, you know, surrender and let all your inhibitions go and think about what that, that feels like to receive that song. So I always think about how the children might feel when they're receiving these songs and something might... Um, and in, in that respect, it's not that I um, dumb anything down for children. Mm -hmm. Like I keep mm -hmm. it keep it really sprightly. But I think they've just they're just so unhindered by, you know, what they should do or what they should think or anything like that. Like adults can do that, mm -hmm. and children mm -hmm. just can let go. So it's sort of like the the difference is maybe that it gives me a little bit more permission to just, you know, to um, put find my inner child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So what, what's, what sort of things capture their imagination, like farm animals, dinosaurs, um, walking in the rain? You, you, Are there any specific themes? That, uh, that. Um, I don't think there's any specific themes. I think if you're having fun with it and there's good energy around it. Um, I've just written a new album, which is called Waste Free Wander. Yeah. And it's, um, it's kind of really 80s themed and it's part of a musical that I've written about a little girl who finds out that she's got superpowers and she can help her friends to reduce their their waste. Okay. So she doesn't actually have any powers, but you know, she's got a cape and she's like she feels empowered and sings these songs about reducing waste and oh, um, okay. and you know, her power is actually that she just inspires people to make a change. Oh, that's yeah. that's really good. <laughs> Now you um, you perform quite a bit, don't you? Yeah, um, I do. Children mainly. Uh, no, I do folk and bluegrass, and um, actually just recently released a dance track. <laughs> so, dance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> with a kind of a real retro '80s jazzercise music video, just because. <laughs> just because you can. <laughs> just because I can. <laughs> Why not? Uh, there's no rules, but uh, yeah, that's called frequency, and yeah, it's very juxtaposed from the children's stuff, but. Yeah, 
Maybe I, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just a little bit mad. Maybe that's the trick to, well, yeah. to, to writing good kids music. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Writing good songs, you yeah, just have to be a little bit crazy, don't you? I think so. Yeah. Good crazy. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay, well, thanks uh, very much, Anna. Uh, we look forward to uh, your performance tonight. That should Thank be you. should be really, really good. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Anna Van Real, our uh, Songs for Children category winner this year. Chookies with my mom. Feeding the chookies is so much fun. Feeding the chookies in the afternoon. They gonna lay a big eggs soon. Throw out the grain, throw out the grain. Fill out the bucket and do it again. Throw out the corn, throw out the corn. Load up the truck and toot the horn. I'm feeding a piggies with my dad. Feeding a piggy makes a piggy feel glad. They and they like waste It's a little stinky but they like the taste Throw out the grain Throw out the grain Fill out the bucket and do it again Throw out the corn Throw out the corn Load up the truck and toot the horn I'm grateful for the sun And I'm so grateful for the Truck and toot the horn.